Replacing your old popcorn motor. Here are some things you'll need to do the job right. Today we'll be replacing a C-frame shaded pole motor with a synchronous motor, which is the new motor that they've installed in the newer machines. As you can see, this C-type motor runs on a gearbox and the gears are made out of plastic which have a tendency to strip. The new synchronous motor, no gearbox, as you can see, and the synchronous motor runs off a capacitor which regulates the voltage and the RPMs of the motor. As you can see, the new motor does not fit my machine. I will have to retrofit this motor in order for it to fit my machine properly. I made this video because like others out there who are looking to buy a C-frame shaded pole motor for their machine cannot find this part. So I decided to make this video so you didn't have to toss away a good functioning popcorn machine. In order to complete your conversion you'll just need two parts. A newer synchronous motor and a lower kettle stirring rod guide. The links to buy these pieces can be found in the YouTube description. The conversion is fairly simple. We're just going to have to drill four new holes and rewire two wires. The only problem is we're just going to have to make sure that the sprockets and the alignment are perfect or this conversion will not work. I suggest that you lay newspaper at the base of the machine to catch any metal debris as you cut and drill. Place your new synchronous motor through the existing hole of the machine. Then connect the sprocket to the stem of the synchronous motor. Then commandeer some nail polish from your wife or girlfriend. You'll use this to mark your new holes for drilling. Affix your kettle onto the machine and align the sprockets together. Now carefully mark your holes where you'll be drilling. Then remove your kettle, sprocket, and motor. Now you're ready for drilling. Now mount your synchronous motor to the top of the machine. Now it's time for some wiring. Connect the black wire from the stirrer switch to the red wire of the motor. Then connect the white wire on the light power switch to the white wire on the motor. Here's a close up of the wiring post on the motor. The red wires connect to the stirrer switch. The blue wires connect to the light power switch on the machine and the green wires are common. On my particular conversion, the red and blue wires were utilized the green common wires were not. Now you could plug in your machine, turn your switches on, and make sure everything is functioning. One thing I noticed is the new synchronous motor runs a lot quieter and smoother. Now the moment of truth. Let's give it a run. I hope this video helped you get your popcorn machine back up and running. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.